Here is a video how to troubleshoot your Greenworks pressure washer. First thing you should do, check for power. Okay. First thing you should do is check for power. You should also be able to turn it off and reset it with these buttons. There's an, well, instructions right there. Well, there we go. Initially, that was my issue. And how I verified that was I pulled uh, eight screws from the bottom, pulled the top off. Okay. Now, when you lay that thing back, there's a cover that goes here four screws. I pulled that and I tested for power at, you know, the wire coming in from the wall. So you know you have power when you have your green indicator. But if you want to take it a step further, get a multimeter, unplug these, and then check for power coming from the wall. If you have that, okay, then you need to check for a switch which it's a rocker switch. So literally you can unplug everything and then run, let's see, right? Probably this one. Well, both of them maybe, but when you, you should have, when you pull this, you should have no continuity between the two pins until you switch it to on. Then you should have good power coming through there, good continuity, however you decide to check it, but you can check for power there. Now if you follow this wire, it goes up here to a little micro switch, which I'll show you where that was. That was stuck inside of here internally. So this encases this and it sticks right here. So after I got mine on, I was pressure washing and realized that it never shut off. So it was obviously a pressure switch issue. So electrically, here's how you can test it. Let me uh, get set up here because my switch is broken. So it's a little funky for me to be able to do it, but I will show you how to test. So essentially what this is showing you is when it gets up to pressure, this white plunger makes contact with this switch. So this is essentially saying that it is on and pressurized. Now, when you squeeze the trigger and relieving the pressure inside of here, there's a spring and a plunger and everything, which I still have yet to uh, figure this out. So I will update the video when I do, but electrically, it works. So as far as the electric side of things, it's working like a champ. You know, this makes contact with this plunger, which tells me, so I can, I bench tested it essentially, which tells me that internally, this is not making contact with that switch. So I had this out earlier. You pull this thing up. It's like a, almost like a, looks like a staple. You pull this up and then you can pull this out. And there's some O-rings back here and there's a spring that goes inside of here with uh, that white plastic plunger. So my next step is to then throw water here, you know, hook water up, hook my wand up, let it get up to pressure, and then possibly see if I can see visually this white plunger coming out like it's supposed to. I'm assuming it's not. So I will then have to replace this, which is super easy. I just showed you how to get in here, but um, literally just pull this thing up, pull that out, and it's likely just a quick little 
slide in replacement, which I did have to slide a socket over it to get enough, um, what's the word, I guess, oomph to overpower the spring to get that in there to then push this down. But I'll see if I can show you. It makes contact with that. So my issue is inside of there now. But I figure that's a damn near complete troubleshooting guide for this thing. So if it helps, well, I'll say I hope it helps. Y'all have a good one.